Madam, hope say you don't tell her what she will come for. Mercy! Madam Miracle. Mercy! Madam Miracle. I hope you will not be too harsh on this. Girl. You too, don't be too harsh on me. It is your behaviors that make me to be harsh on you. Tell her what she's doing. Tell her the rules are regular. Ignore her. How would you go to escape the stigma of an unwanted pregnancy? What risk are you willing to take in a bid to save face while endangering your life and that of your born baby? For a price, would you sell your baby? Is a baby factory business a myth or reality? How are they run? What drives this illicit trade? Find out these answers in today's episode as we join the Nigeria Police Force on a sting operation to factories where babies are made and sold off as commodities on shelf. Shocking to say the least. Sorry. Oh yeah, push. Push. Don't stand up. Push. Just push. The baby is coming. Push. 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 Push! 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 Hello, madam. I'm fine, ma. She don't born. It's a boy. Well done, girls. <coughs> Meet Heme. She's our new girl here. Now, my dad don't bring another candidate. <laughs> Be kind to her. Be friendly and make her comfortable. 15 year old MM has an unusual challenge. She's pregnant and her parents have thrown her out. Her boyfriend and father of her unborn child has also deserted her. M.M. Bro? M.M. is confused and turns to her mother's younger sister for help. You are going to stay with her only the time you deliver. Eh, eh. So you will sleep with me tonight. Tomorrow you will go to Lagos. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Auntie. God bless you. It was a mistake. I never need to be like this. I know. The deed has been done. What's winning now is the way forward. So, sit down. Another thing is this, though. You know, this is an arrangement between me and you. Your pregnancy does not know to eat. Okay. Eh, eh. You have to cooperate with those people you are going to meet. Whatever they ask you to do, make sure you do it. Okay? So that there will not be a situation where they ask you to come back here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the time you deliver. Okay. Please, my dear. Mm -hmm. eh? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, yeah, Thank carry you. your back with you. Okay? MM's auntie makes arrangement for her to go to Lagos and stay with a friend of hers during her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Me, I've done my part, oh. Okay, when it is time, I'm going to see a lot. Otherwise, I'm not going to supply you again. No? Hey, I trust you. Hey, hey, I trust you. Two days afterwards, M.M. arrives Lagos. She is four months pregnant. Come in. Come in. Um, you're welcome. What's that your name again? Uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, here. You're welcome. Okay. Let me have your phone. Why not? That's Let me have it first. That's our rules there. If you need to contact anybody, I will see to that. Is there any money on you? You don't have any money. Okay, no problem. Come. Madam, hope say you don't tell her what she will come for. Mercy! 
Mercy! Madam Miracle. Mercy! Madam Miracle. I hope you will not be too harsh on this girl. You too, don't be too harsh on me. It is your behaviors that make me to be harsh on you. Tell her what she's doing. Tell her the rules are right. Ignore her. Welcome, dearie, my dear. Oh, not them, them. May God help you. Hey, hey, hey. Don't put that shit on my Prada bag. Be careful. Mercy. Sorry. Mercy, the is easy. 16-year-old Mercy is the only daughter of her parents. She was a 100-level student of a local university. But on campus, Mercy lived a wild life. She would party all night and sleep all day. She missed classes and avoided home. She soon found out she was pregnant. Mercy ran away from her family and school because she could not bear the shame of facing her parents. Someone told her about Aunt Miracle and she located the house. Mercy feels guilty for making her parents worry. Do fast. 42-year-old Mrs. Chigozier is also a resident of the house. However, she is not the regular victim that turns up unmarried with an unwanted pregnancy. She is a married woman and a mother of three. There are many questions, such as where is her husband and why is she here with the rest of the girls? instead of her home. She lives in Abia State with her husband, mother-in-law, and her three children. Her husband works at sea and sometimes is gone for three months or as long as a year. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you for the visit. Mm, I you. appreciate it, Ma. Thank, thank you, you, Ma. Our wife. Mama, see you. Don't they pick you. See, see everything. Mama, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm no fine. problem. Yes. I'm fine. You are fine. Yes. She go to see what to me at the teacher. Mama, see. What do you do to me? They go get belly. Belly? Mama, I'm not pregnant though. Ah, no. I'm not pregnant. And it's a. Uh, and this family planning injection that I took is the injection that is making me. Into it. I'm not pregnant. Do they no. use family planning? Yeah. Why? Mm. Why your husband is not allowed to use family planning? Mama, 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 do you want to go for me? I'm okay. I'm no use. I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm okay. See, mm. see, see everything now. Mama, is God. Who... I'm mm. see. fine. See your eyes. See everything. He's God. He's God, Mama. He's okay. God. Um, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mama, you. do you want me to serve you? Thank so? you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Mama, are Thank you sure you are alright? Ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Oh, you don't. Thank you, Mama. You do. You Mama. Thank you. Thank you. I'm finished. Ah, I finished this one. I don't know. <laughs> ah, Celeste, don't give me. I'm dead. <sighs> Mrs. Chigazi has to act fast. The pregnancy was far gone, and she could not risk her life for an abortion. Someone told her about the house in Lagos. She told her mother-in-law that she was coming to Lagos to get fibro treatment. But she came to the house where she will stay until her baby is born. No one will ever know that she had a child. She saves her marriage and her face. The future of this country belongs to the youth. Therefore, you should bring yourselves together and work towards nation building rather than engaging yourselves into crime and criminalities that uh, wouldn't pay. Um, do not allow yourself to be involved in cultism. Do not allow yourself to be used by any politician or group of people that 
people make you go into crime for their own benefit. Make sure that uh, you engage in activities that will be useful to yourselves and then will lead to nation building. Seventeen year old Fali. Before Fali came to the house, she was a lady of the night, born and brought up on the streets. She's a loud and aggressive girl who has made fighting to have her way a lifestyle. Fifteen year old Rosa is very quiet and reserved. She doesn't talk much and likes to keep to herself. No one knows her story. No one knows if she ran away from home like Mercy or if she's a lady of the night like Fali. She doesn't say much. Heavenly Father will bless you. The creator of heaven and earth will worship you. The one that owns all of us will bless you. We want to say thank you. We say thank you. We thank you for our babies. We thank you for us. We thank you for Topai. We thank you for Adila. We thank you for everyone of us here. We say your name be exalted. We say your name be glorified. We thank you for today. We thank you for yesterday. We did not wake up to meet ourselves in the hospital. Even our baby is kicking our womb. We say thank you, Lord. Every witch is in this side. Every witch is in my left hand side. In my right hand side. From our mother's side. From our father's Side. Every which is my four corner in my right hand side, in my left hand side, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Oh Lord, every which is in this gathering, every which is in this house, in my right hand side, I can see you, I can feel you, I can smell you. Lord, cultivate them, scatter them, fire them, fire them, fire them, destroy them. I said thank you. Thank you, thank you. He has started killing the witch one by one. He started to pepper them. When I said thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. Yeah. Finally, which can't be with that? And what tell you say we don't finish? We don't finish now, Abby. What's happen? Which of the witch can't pray with that? Pepper you for body. Pray I prepare you. Pay me talk more. Can I join and together do deliverance for you? Abby? No. Eh, uh, Fali, now who come with the witches where they pray? My Lord knows. Mercy. We know no, but my God knows. Eh, um, Mercy. Leave Fali alone. <laughs> it is too early for argument. Please, let's find something to eat. Me, I'm tired. I'm going to the kitchen. I want to find something to eat. Then. Why don't you be no, now come, eh? The God I serve, the God we serve. We expose all the witches in this house, naked them and pepper them. Amen. He will pepper them on my wall. Amen. Holy Spirit will pepper them. Oh. Yeah. Pepper yeah. them. He will pepper them. Oh. Pepper them. Holy Spirit will pepper them. Oh. Pepper yeah. them. He will pepper them. Oh. Yeah. Pepper them. Pepper them. Oh. Yeah. Pepper them. Oh. Yeah. Pepper them. Oh. Now, I mean, I sing that song for Abby. Na na o kon de pepe o na. Se mi na mi mercy. This morning nobody go hear word. Aunt Miracle as she's popularly called is their caretaker. MM lends that she has never had children. She's good to the girls in the house and she provides everything that they require. She is the life wire of the house and keeps the girls together. And tends to all their needs. Members of the public are advised to reach us for their complaints and the distress call through the numbers displayed on the screen. Their distress calls will be answered. Talk, 
they do? What happened? Uh, wait, wait. Ah, you oh, you you calm oh. down. Ah. Sorry, sorry, calm down. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sorry, sorry, easy. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yes, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Sorry, 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 All the girls who leave to have their babies never return. M.M. wonders why. M.M. asks Mercy about the girls that leave the house at night. I've seen those, the moment and the lady leave this house. That's the end of our story. Why? Why are you shocked? It's already written on the form. Which it's form? It's a business. What business? You see, I've known Madame Mirko for long. You see, it's between us. The agreement is between us. I don't know what both of you did. But me, as for me, what I know is that you won't see your child. Why? Talk. People come and buy their babies. Like, after giving birth, they give you money in exchange for your child. You, you, you mean I've not seen, seen my child? Ch you won't even have the chance to breastfeed your child. Uh -huh. You won't have the right over your child. You won't even have the time to show your child love. M.M. is surprised. She had no idea this was what was going to happen to her baby. M.M. does not like the sound of this, but she does not have a choice. She has been abandoned by her parents, and her aunt had directed her to this place. Where would she go? M.M. has been in the house for three months. She is now seven months pregnant. And there's no water in the drum. I need water to make breakfast. So what do you do? It is M.M.'s turn to make breakfast. But as she heads to the kitchen, she discovers that there is no water. The water pump is faulty, and usually, Auntie Miracle helps the girls to fetch water across the street. We all know we are not supposed to go out now. Mm -hmm. We so, go out. We should stay here and stay hungry till whatever. Auntie Miracle had taken one of the girls who had complained of a tummy ache to see the nurse an hour ago. Ma, we go fetch water because if they worry me for a I won't bath now. That is what me am going to say. We are not going out. I don't want to go profession. Madam. This is when they appoint you as a supervisor. Where did they give you that? <coughs> eh? I they ask you a question now. I'm not ready for your answer. <laughs> I'm not ready for your problem this morning. Please, excuse me. Excuse me. I beg, they, they see me. They see me. I don't arrange those clothes now. I can't sleep when I come up, come up, come up here now. Mm. Mm. Please give me the phone. Oh, wow. Who will go go fetch your time now? Me are the only one. We are now. I am known as supervisor talk. Who be who supervisor? Who supervise who? I don't actually. I know you. Ah, who would they go and beg? Who ah. go now? Element. You are not my yellow dog. Shame on both. 
She no boat. After a long debate, the girls agree to go in search of water a few houses away. Unknown to the girls, someone is watching. A man drives by the girls. He finds it strange to see a large number of pregnant young girls. Something is amiss. He alerts the police. The police swing into action. One night, MM suddenly goes into premature labor. Ah, what is it? No, I don't need to stop. Hey, ma'am, what happened? Don't let them be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hand up now. Hand up now. Help me. Help me. Help me. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Ma'am, sorry. Don't. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. You'll be fine. Ma'am, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sorry, sorry. Ma'am, listen. You go back. Go back. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. Hmm? Uh, Go back. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, 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 s